Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome along to the next part of Black Mesa. We are on Interlo Interloper, Interlooper, Interloper, Interloper, one oh, 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 oh. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're going to continue our journey through Zen tonight. Um, try and make our way a little bit close to the end, maybe even finish it. I honestly don't know how far we are away from uh, everything right now, but um, yeah, let us carry on. I think we came from down there, didn't we? Yes, we did. We jumped across there like that and across the matrix. And then we got some health. So yeah, down here we go. This looks a very um, interesting platform to say the least. Just thought of thing you'd expect, like a fight to be taking place on or something. Famous last words. Famous last words indeed. All right. Into Lopper Looper. <laughs> That's a bit of a tongue twister. Bowl shell. Yeah, I wasn't the only one then, right? I know how we're doing for like ammo and stuff. I think we're fully, we're we're fully stacked right now. We are stacked to the brim. That take us anywhere. So let's carry on upwards. Oh, Aaron, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. You know, eight episodes in, and I'm still smashing my mouse against the side of my keyboard. When will I learn? Oh, God, these guys. You know what? He's still not dead. He is now. Why is my... Why does it feel like my, my mouse is like really not working for me at all? Oh, he's not there anymore. Got him, finally, jeez. I'm already here? Where's here? Actually, I'm, I thought I was there. I don't know what the laser part is. Um, is that the bit with like the elevators and stuff? The the bit that I just did. Or oh man, one more. Wow, I got wrecked. I'm over here. That's what I thought. Dealt with them a little bit easier that time. Well, it's better, maybe, I should say. Not easier, better. So. Use my vacuum. Don't 
Don't know why, but this gun reminds me of like, not that I've played a lot of it, it reminds me of something from TF2. I can't tell you what, because like I say, I haven't really played that much of TF2. But yeah, definitely reminds me of something from TF2. Where do you want to go? Not this. Active stuff though to give me. See, that's why I've not really be, like been using the vacuum a lot because I just the the ammo goes so quickly. I see so sparse as well. There's small ammo. Up there. Oh my goodness! I see you. Headshot. Get in there, my, oh, my son. He's back up. Did I did I get him? I think so. Okay. So I guess I've got to drop down. There's no other way to go here. But how do I get up to the top? I wonder. I guess I just got to go around. Who needs a vacuum when you've got a shotgun? Not me, that's for sure. But having said that, I will happily take... I will happily take um, more ammo for the vacuum. Gotta be more, surely. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. No. Alright, we don't need anything from here because we're at full health. So I'm gonna go through the vac tubes. What is this? Aperture science? I kind of wish in a way that the vaults were more interactive. Oh wow, this is cool. Cool but scary at the same time. Because I feel like... Ha. Where are they? Somewhere. I tell you what, can we just like sit here for the rest of the game and, um, I'll happily take on whatever you want to throw at me. I'm down for that. What's wrecking me here? Oh, there he is. Oh, 
I'll happily sit here for the rest of the game. Please. Please. Yeah. I think we're done. Let's go in this radioactive vacuum. What's the worst that could happen? Go in here. I thought I might just be able to jump up there, though. What are, they, are they like? Are they dead bodies, or are they just like re rejected? Like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what they're meant to be. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. How come I just got to fire that and I didn't deplete any ammo? That was interesting. The last time I was in an area with like these red lights, they turned and started flashing and making noises. So, I'm a little bit worried. Aaron's going, oh boy, that doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well. Uh, what are you just talking about that conclave on, uh, on your Discord a moment ago? I've never played Terraria. Tell a lie, I have played Terraria. Man, I'm such a liar. I am such a liar. I haven't played on PC. I used to, I we I think I used to have it on a, an Amazon Kindle or something that we used to have. Way back when. Really, I wasn't really good at it. What was I talking about when I said that? Oh boy, I think I just got rejected. <laughs> Denied. Denied access I was. Yeah, I knew them things were there. I absolutely love my space bar. It's the best. Really, it's the best. I keep hearing voices and I think somebody's talking to me, but it's I think it's like the Vorgons. There's one up there. kind of indoors and you kind of missed the whole point of taking out those screenshots indoors. I get you. Some 
guessing at places here I've kind of got to jump onto other conveyor belts oh is this the bit Conclan was talking about a few days ago and I thought he was talking about like the other conveyor belt kind of bit Con clan through his headphones at some point here. Wait, Con clan raged? I don't believe you. I I, I don't want to believe you. Con clan is like one of the most level-headed people I know. Okay. Are these like quick travel portals, maybe? I guess. I'm, I'm assuming the other one like got turned off. Yeah, Galinja, of course. I couldn't agree more. Yep, Galalong to you too, my friend. Okay. So where to? Yep, get along. That's what I thought. Oh, you are kidding. And here was me thinking I probably didn't want to stand on top of these things. Oh my, I, I really? Okay. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad, right? I'm sure there can't be more of that. For an achievement for like doing it flawless. Rip me. <laughs> Restart the chapter. I'll get it next time. I play through, I'm sure. Do we get some more laser stuff? Alright, well... seems a little bit oh my god all right this seems a little bit frustrating it's 
two ways to go. I'm assuming they're going to lead both to the same position, right? That assumption would appear to be correct. You mean to say I went already? The, the, the laser part I went through was of the tame bit? Okay. Let's only climb the way for. Uh, climb away and the aliens didn't intend. But Valve would have made platforms large enough to. Yeah. This way. Surely I don't want to go down there, though. Because. Um, where else is that to go? Alright, I'm thinking here. Nope, that's alright. Let's go on GM Gaming. Welcome on to stream, buddy. Hope you will. Maybe I do just drop down and go around. Yeah, there we go. I got it, Aaron. Don't worry. I got it. Alright. Buy ourselves a bit of space. Just so we're not like completely following that like right behind and everything. Hey, we got health. Okay. Okay, I see what to do. Take a little elevator ride here. What was the purpose of like these side bits though? If they're not directly like connected and, and operating on that thing, it kind of seems a bit... I don't know, they, they seem independent, but I don't really see what the use is. Oh my goodness, spacebar, please. It just seems like it, it's there as a... It's just there for the player to sort of get across. Just like an added convenience for the player. But... Hey-ho. So yeah, GM Gaming, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome along to stream. How has your week been? Let me out! Alright. Aperture tag part two. What's with the laser grids on above me, man? The actual hell is this? We were doing so well. Just jump on the sides when they open up. Like these bits here, Conclan. Or 
these bits. Not sure I know what you mean. Oh, I moved. I moved. I was there and then I moved. <laughs> Alright, well, as much as I could cheat my way. Let's 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 try and do it legitimately first. Because, you know, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Hello, Alfie 5. What is going on? Hope you are well, good friend. You know, why why wouldn't this be a thing? Funnily enough, I've heard the horror stories, Alfie. So, <laughs> I've heard the horror stories. All right, let's go. Did that, did that just like purposely pop out for me? Yo, Mika, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. How's Friday treating you? you know what's what's more annoying than conveyor belts and laser beams fighting these mind control things I was this bad want to know something worth some of these moving platforms coming up are programmed so poorly they activate for any prop that gets near them, so if you have a prop in this part, you can break the synchronization of the doors and soft lock stuff. Wow, okay. Did fine, I came to my apartment from my mum's house. Ah, oh, you're going back to your mum's house? I know you, I know you said uh, a while ago that you was going to your mum's house, uh, Mika, or you was at your mum's <coughs> house, excuse me. That seems quite strange after a month and a half going back. So 
so freaking itchy today. Um. Okay, I should have seen that coming. Be ready for it this time. I'm ready. I'm not ready. going anymore. Where am I even going? Am I even going the right way? Nobody knows. Nobody can be sure. We're just sort of moving. Hoping for the best. Oh my freaking god, get out of here. How rude. Save. <laughs> they remind me of um, Resident Evil Tyrants. Weirdly. Or maybe not so weirdly. I guess there was just two ways up here. Okay. Uh, onwards we go. Onwards we go. You died seven times there? Yeah, it's it seemed like a really frustrating bit to be fair. I wouldn't want to do it many many times. It's just like a, a bit of like a a gauntlet kind of run. The, there's a, a couple of those areas in this game which I don't know I don't know if I like like too much, just like the whole running away gauntlet kind of sequences. But Excuse me? Would you kindly stop doing that, please? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Thank you. I don't remember much about like the original like factory area. Um, I was yelling at a fly that was flying in my light, causing the light to flicker. Yeah, I don't remember a lot about like the factory and stuff in Half-Life 1. I just I think I found it frustrating and annoying. Again, we're going back to this like weird level design here. Like what are these things even doing? Well, 
if nothing else, it's certainly a lot nicer to look at. Why has that got like a protective bubble around it? Okay. shooting at me from Hi. I need to get to the vacuum cleaner here because there's a crystal up here I can use. And what is it? What is that like? What is even like giving it that extra power? The crystal? There we go. Got rid of you. Thank you. Do you ever get the feeling you just broke it? from here. Kind of like blow that up as it goes, maybe. health Man, this is like like the never-ending climb right here You know what? Instead this time of um, 
I know what we'll do. Instead of putting one crystal on in this time, we'll put two. Because, yeah, that would be a cool thing to do, right? And what we'll also do is we'll also surround him with, like, these, these fucking annoying things that fire these freaking bugs at you while you're trying to fend off everything else and get rid of the crystals. That's a, that's a recipe for success right there. More games need to cut onto that for sure. Sorry. Do you know what would be really nice right now? A health station. So... I'm not sure how I hit it, but I hit it. Imagine not playing on hard. Imagine jumping off a cliff like that and dying. Or not dying. As the case may be. So what is the point of... Can somebody please explain to me though what the point of these... Um, what the point of the teleporters are? I honestly thought they'd like give me quick travel between areas, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I thought they were like you know, like markers, so I didn't have to redo stuff again. Yeah, so why didn't the other one work? Yeah, that's what I thought they conquer, but I don't know, the, the one right at the bottom didn't seem to want to work for some reason. we go. Summer exits, got you. No, I didn't want to do that, please. Oh, for goodness sake. Sure. Sure. One thing I've come to realise about this game, and I don't know, maybe it's I've just not been paying close enough attention, but Half-Life 1, I feel, doesn't really tell too good a story. I, I, I don't really think the game itself keeps the player up to date too much with what they're actually doing and where they're meant to be going kind of thing. Am I, am I on my own with that? Does everybody else feel like that's a thing? I just kind of feel like I'm... I'm just aimlessly like walking around stuff a lot of the time. I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. Oh, 
clearly we're going to be fighting something here. Okay, like I said, I, I, that's just my opinion. I'm sorry for my vaulty friends. All right, so it wasn't it, it wasn't bad enough that we had two before. Now we have three. Take that back actually that was that was okay actually the story itself is not terribly great but the game does have sort of ambiguous direction at certain times oh my good god i guess i don't want to be up here just at this moment in time Did I go the wrong way for a start? Yeah, I mean, they, they tell you what to do in certain places, but it's very vague. I mean, I don't really recall the fact why I've come to Zen. I mean, obviously, I've come here to defeat the... Uh, I guess to def defeat the aliens and, and whatever they are, but nobody really made it particularly clear as to why I'm why I'm doing it or anything like that. Yeah. She wasn't too bad. That wasn't so bad. Well, I did just say, Megas, that you know maybe it's just me and I, I wasn't paying attention close enough to, you know, the dialogue and stuff around that area. Sending through vaults to kill humanity. It's like I was saying though, like the the very beginning of the the playthrough. Um, it's like you you kind of the the initial instant occurs, right? And um, I'm I mean it's it's not apparent that a certain amount of time has passed. Um, and like the seven hour war, like the military just like kind of show up. You don't know why the military have showed up. You don't know why the military is trying to kill you. It's never really explained. They just, they're just sort of there and they're just sort of like trying to kill you. I don't know. I just find it a bit vague. Alright, just one. Did I take out all the poles? Yeah, still going through there. So I guess I've got to go to take the other paths now. So we've done that path. Let's go this way now. Yeah, but I'm, I, all right. So let, let's forget about obviously like Half Life Two and everything. It it's just it's unexplained. You activate something, something goes wrong, but you, you don't really know what's happening and why it's happening in Half-Life 1. Oh god. I 
you kidding me? Oh, we're dead. Quite clearly. Yeah, but again, though, my, my point is, though, at the point of playing the game, the military are just there. Do, am I not right? Do you not agree? Is this? Oh my god. Was this really necessary? I feel the answer to that question was no. So that's two done. Let's go and recharge health again. Well, we might as get the vacuum cleaner ready because I'm sure we're going to be doing the same thing again, probably with about five crystals this time. Yeah, I mean, I, I get why the military want to come in and shut things down. I totally get it. Did I, like, do the hardest ones first? I mean, funny, in comparison, these were... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, it's not a... That's not a... Um, just sort of like a... Uh, okay, a lot of shit. Okay, this is. Is is this necessary though? This is just like a bit. What sort of freaking containment thing is this though? Honestly. All right, we got caught out the last minute. Last minute. Who builds a structure like this? Alright, well. 
whatever we were trying to do, we succeeded. Let's get a hell for the last time. I was just about to say, where am I even going here, but it's all good. PhD in pacifism. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit sporadic. Um. I was just about to say, is that like a trash compactor? Oh my. GLaDOS! It's GLaDOS, see look! Aperture science was behind it all. What's going on Mikey, my yellow belly brother? So now I do I just have to wait here and wait for that to come back up and oh okay it's there. Fair enough. More like Wheatley. <laughs> Another gauntlet section. How am I even meant to fight these things? Or am I just not? See what you mean about the frames around. Jeez, I'm noticing some uh, big stars. That's, uh, that's a good point. Come on,
Got some more lotus biscuits. Where is this fool? Get on this again? I guess so. You d <laughs> You're two frames per second? Jeez. Freaking fly is pissing me off. Music though in this area. Quite something. Oh, my goodness. Spawn tons of enemies. Do you know what, Aaron? I was just looking out there a minute ago. There seriously looks like there is a shit crap a ton of enemies here. Oh boy, I need to get off here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, in that scene from Austin Powers, one of the Austin Powers films. Am I shooting? I'm even shooting at the right thing. I don't think I am. That again. That time. You banged your head enough? You dead? I freaking hope so. <laughs> oh, and now it's saved me on two HP. No. Oh my goodness, this is, um... This, this could be a problem. This could be a big problem. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, go back to a previous save and do Where is that save, though? How far back is this save? I bet I'll do like half an hour's worth of stuff. I oh, know, we're only here. Okay, it's not too bad. There's a load saves. Oh hey, look at that. So I wanna be on this one, right? I'll tell you what, 
let me have a quick bathroom break and then we will jump back into this one momentarily. Stick with me guys, I will be right back. Or at least I would be right back if my thing didn't uh, decide to crap out. And we're back. All right, so we should be good on this one. I have to delete that one, that's for sure. We don't, want, we don't want to know about that one. But this should be the one. So like there must be an easy way to do this though, right? This just seems a bit of a seems like a bit of a dumb way to do this. We got this, we got this, we got this. Take a time, take a time, take a time. We just stay here, we're safe for a minute. That's all we need to do. That and we just bust our way in here. Again, this one. Do I have to go in from the top here? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Do I need to crouch in here? There we go. Did I do it? Did I do the thing with the thing? I think we did it. Whatever we was meant to do, I think we did it. Um. Can I go up there now? I hope so. Music's fading out. Something bad's gonna happen. Are we getting to the top of the portal? I think we might be. It's, uh, I think we might be coming to the top. That was a that was a good tune.
Frames, man. Frames. Yeah, well, I've got that um, that um, video I was I've been using for my intro, Aaron is um, I believe is um, the correct soundtrack. But yeah, they just sound absolutely immense. The tracks here, I've already picked out a few that I like really would like to chuck into like a DJ set at some point. So. Also, I realized you said the word like about like, 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 like so many times. So I apologize for that. Yeah, no, I've got the Zen individual one as well. I got the individual Zen one as well. You don't like my uh, ponies and whatever it's called? I can't remember what it's called. Ponies and something else. <laughs> yeah, they're on... Um, the Black Mesa soundtrack is on most of the music streaming portals, I do believe. I know it's on it's on um, iTunes, at least. I saw that in the description. It's all the scientists. What are they doing here? scientists and there are also computers and stuff in the test tubes oh Or Katie. I guess it's developer photo. Hey, my pizza made it to Zen. Hey, pizza. Good to see you. Did find the uh, Oh no I didn't. I didn't no. Alright, so when's the body coming? I have to say that's like Kind of looks like the solar system in a way. I think it's possibly what it's meant to be. Some of the fight sequences in this game remind me a lot of like Doom, um, where they're just kind of like a massive like onslaught and barrage of like enemies. And you don't really have a lot of time to think about stuff. Yes, yes, I will. It is a galaxy. I, I don't think I meant to go that way. There, so there's going to be some parkour somewhere. I guess. I'll 
sure where I'm going. Can I go in these things here? Oh. Uh, Sarah's kind of giving me the uh, heebie-jeebies. Like, seriously. Can we just chill here and listen to the music for a little bit? Can't really listen to music because I'm so close to the freaking portal though. Do you know what? It kind of reminds me a bit. Not that I've like ever done it before in my lifetime, and probably never will do. But it kind of gives me the feeling like I'm like leagues under the sea, and I'm kind of like looking up in the up at the ocean at like fish and things swimming above me. Said exactly the same thing. All right, so I guess we've got to take these things out first. Mock me. So, all right. So before we kind of like you think, 
before you think I was just like being stupid there, I I just checking out to see if those blue those green things were um, actually um, the nuclear kind of things. Probably go a bit closer, I guess. Freaking hell. Like bringing Black Mesa through the portal. Jeez. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay, I can take out a shell. Do I have to take out like the whole shell first or? Ah, there we go. I'm not paying much attention to chat. Any attention at the minute to chat. I do apologise. Shit, that was a big hit. Jeez, he's like trapping me. Oh, I need some help. Holy smokes.
Oh, he's regenning there from a crystal, isn't he? Holy smokes. Get in the health, get in the health. I don't know. I, I, I answered that. I don't even know if I'm hitting him or not. It's crazy. I guess he's just going to keep regening until I can take that out, right? What the frickin' hell? How am I still alive? How am I still alive? What is this? What is this? Um, I, I know what's going on here. This is just pure and utter carnage at this point. Alright, well, save me here. That's something, right? What am I supposed to do here? Okay.
Don't use the laser guide so you can shoot more rockets quickly. Okay. Did I do it? embarrassing. Um. Shoot her! <laughs> Did we do it? I think we did it. God. That was just pure and utter carnage. Like massive carnage. Wow. Now that's like a nuclear explosion. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, they're in the hazard suit. I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen is in our control for the time being thanks to you quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there i am impressed i don't That's think the um, why i'm here I think I, the, the lip Freeman. sync is very good i have recommended your services to my employers and they have authorized me to offer you a job. Do we take they the job? agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man. So I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and... I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. All right, I gotta see the battle. That's why I created the, uh, the safe spot. To choose. So. Mm -hmm. Let's see the battle. It's time to choose. Well, it looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mr. Freeman. Rather an anti-climax.
Alright. <laughs> Subject declined offer of employment. Alright, let's go back and do the uh, the other one, of course. Because uh time to choose. At least you can save it there and do Once both endings. Done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Status hired. Awaiting assignments. Alright. Let's listen out to this uh Let's listen out this intro music and stuff, and uh, we'll pick up some uh, discussions after the uh, credits have rolled. Oh man, they thank the pizzas. Legends. There we go. 
end game. What do we say? Absolutely fantastic game. A, a very visually pleasing game as well. I really enjoyed um, how visually appealing that game was. Um, um, with regards to like some of the um, the the boss fight at the end was just crazy. Um, it's kind of just like everything is happening around you. Um, and to be honest, I wasn't really sure what I was meant to be doing and whether or not I could actually avoid a lot of the stuff. So I don't know. I was I felt like a, a, at times in that last fight, I was kind of like clutching at straws. Um, like I said though, just before going into that fight, I kind of see a lot of those sort of like combat -y kind of areas very similar to um, almost like Doom, the new Doom, like Doom twenty sixteen. I don't know about Doom Eternal, um, whereby you kind of you're walking around for a bit and you're trying to figure stuff out and then like you come across like a a hive kind of area or like a, an enemy infested kind of area and then the action is so intense for those like couple of minutes until you take out those um enemies and, and the group of enemies around you um one thing i don't know if i if i really like too much was like i said the gauntlet sections so I mentioned these before. There, there just seems to be kind of like a lot of times where you're just like running. And you, you don't necessarily know if you're running the right way, but you're just running. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if I like those bits in the game. But um, I don't want that to detract from what a, a fantastic job these guys did and, and what a fantastic game this this is. Um, it's a great upgrade from the original Half-Life. Um, it's got an amazing soundtrack. It's got some amazing, amazing um visuals and uh yeah as alfie just pointed out there it is um loads better than the originals and i don't even remember too much about that um i feel like i took more away i, I know i kind of said at places i felt like the story wasn't really telling much and like it wasn't really following much of a story but i feel like like going through that zen i can kind of take away a bit more leaning into half-life 2 about like the vorticons and things so like they're um obviously being enslaved um, and being forced to do things that they don't necessarily want to do. So, um, yeah. Uh, a couple of frustrating bits, like the lasers, I don't really... Yeah, I can understand why Conclan kind of um, may have had some moments with those lasers. Uh, the lasers in the conveyor belts in Zen weren't particularly great. Um, but other than that, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the game so thank you very much to um aaron there for putting in the initial request for me to play this game um for youtube i'm going to wrap this one up right about here thank you very much for watching the series um we'll be back real soon we'll be jumping back into the portal 2 um mod quest and maybe some community map streams and videos so keep an eye on your sub boxes those will be dropping real soon but until then i have been knock you have been awesome thank you very much and goodbye